The Honourable Member for St. John's East. Mr. Speaker, last night the CBC released documents concerning the activities of Communications Security Establishment Canada. Now, CSE can't spy on Canadians, but the documents allege that the agency invites the United States National Security Agency to operate inside Canadian facilities in this country and inside CSA facilities in approximately 20 countries around the world. Now, Mr. Speaker, can the government confirm that this is the case, and what plans does the government have to beef up parliamentary oversight of this agency? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of National Defence. Comment on specific intelligence activities or capabilities, but I do have good news for the other. The, the Honourable Member, the, uh, there is a Commissioner that looks into CSEC every year for 16 years, has confirmed that uh, they've acted within lawful activities here. Oh yeah, the C Commissioner has done that for the last 16 years and he's an independent individual here, so I'm sure that will assure the Honourable Member. The question is, did CSEC truly obey the law. The documents revealed by Snowden indicate that the Americans operated from within Canadian facilities, both here and, ab and abroad. Apparently, the Conservative government was an accomplice in the espionage of some of our trading partners. Can the government confirm that this is indeed the case? And if so, who approved it? The Honourable Minister of National Defence. As I did to her colleague, that there is an independent commissioner that oversees and has a look at yep. the activities of CSEC. And not only has CSEC complied with Canadian law this last year, but for the last 16 years, oh, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. So she's looking for information or proof. It's I suggest that she, she go that. It's on the record of Parliament, Mr. Speaker. Not having to get paid